swing at it. Most of us yeah. don't want to swing at it. And so yeah. for me, yeah. I don't mind missing. I'm not going to miss. I'm going to hit a home run before it's over. And I can get right. better. I'm telling you all the time, trust the process. Putting the right team together. Having great people around you that's going to do the same thing. Because if you look at Bill Gates, what I'm telling my team and my people, uh, whether it's Gwen, Elvin, James, Christy, I mean, I'm telling them, I'm like, you know what? We just have to keep going and keep doing the right thing. You know, my yeah. family, creating a business with my family, with my kids, having them start early. You know, my kids about to go to college, choosing the, choosing the right college, you know, being associated with the right people, not being afraid to change because just because you started off one way, it don't have to be like that forever. And so I'm not afraid to grow up. I have family members. We all was born in the same house. We was born in the same hospital. Some people decided to take a different route. That guess what? Whatever that route you take, those choices you make, you have to suffer the consequences. I love you. I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do for you. But guess what? You are not gonna stop this, even as family and friends. If I gotta cut you off and move on, that's what I gotta do. I I'll Let's give you. Ask you a question. Yes. Um, I, this is a personal question, so you don't have to answer it. But yeah. I know that you're also an open book. Yes. Was ever a point in your career where you were either depressed and you were kind of trying to get through it or doubted yourself and had to kind of get unstuck? But did that ever happen to you? Well, let me tell you something. Uh, when my brother died and when my grandmother died, uh, you know, you, you question God and you're not supposed to do that. And we know that nobody's going to be here forever. It just puts you in that zone to where you like, you don't even want to get up. Because yeah. you want, even if you be successful, these are people that you love and you grew up and they taught you so much. You know, my mm -hmm. grandmother, my grandmother was the head of the house. And so we all go through that. But then I start realizing that what would she want? I got to get out here and work hard for her. And she taught me, have integrity. So I have to pass that same thing down to the people that are still here in my family that I'm living through to see. And, and be a provider, being a leader, because it's it's two things you could be. You need to be a leader or a manipulator. That's it. Mm, I love that. I That's love it. That. So if you have integrity, you could be a leader. You also have to have a purpose and vision. So when you have those things, you know you got to keep going. So I wasn't down for long. But it, it, it definitely put me in a position to, well, you know, I want to be successful and I want these people to see this. So I want them to see my dreams because it's not going to happen overnight, you know, because I'm a visionary. I see the tree. But at, at the time, it's like this with these products. These products, people probably say, well, we don't see it yet. But you didn't see, you know, because the first thing people ask me, they ask me, well, is your cereal healthy? I'm like, what? Is my cereal healthy? Like, at least let me get a little piece of the shelving in Walmart that Kellogg's have, a quicker oats. <laughs> let me get it now, then I'll make y'all some healthy cereal. But y'all spending trillions of dollars right now on Fruit Loops and Frosted Flakes and all that stuff. At least let me get in there. Once I get in there, I will make some healthy alternatives. They ask me, well, how much sodium in your noodles? I'm like, well, I'm not making noodles for Whole Foods yet, but I will make some vegans real soon. So trust the process. And I think that's what we, we, we have to stop this, uh, this self-hate amongst each other. I want to see other, so people don't realize my real goal with this, I want to see thousands of bosses, thousands of entrepreneurs get their products into these chain stores after me. Like that's why I get up every day and do what I do because I'm like, it's not just about me. It's not about Uncle P product. It's not about just wrap snacks. It's about the thousands of other companies that we're going to open the door for. Same way we did in the music industry. When people see that I was able to get an 80-20 deal and do this, now you got all these other companies coming. You, you're building and creating all this other wealth so we can help our communities and our culture. Uh, that's why yeah, I created... So, firstly, can, no, let me just jump in. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 firstly, you just mentioned the 820 deal, which was, you know, yes. all the list of things that I was hoping that we could talk about. Yeah. Uh, for, for our audience, which isn't as well-versed in the music industry, yes. could, could you talk about the nature of a standard deal yeah. versus uh, the one that you actually receive so they can appreciate 
So I'm when I when I first got in, yeah, when I first got into the music industry, uh, most of my colleagues' deals was seven percent to fourteen percent, and uh, Michael Jackson had the highest deal in the world at the time. He was getting twenty two percent a record. And I said, man, this Michael Jackson, brilliant Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson <laughs> that owned Neverland. I'm like, wow, 22%. That was all he was getting. So I went to his attorney. I gave this guy $25,000 to sit down with him in the 90s. And he told me, gave me this idea. He said, only one other deal you could get bigger than Michael Jackson is a distribution deal where you would get 85% and the record company would get 15%. And I said, well, how do I get that deal? You know, I, I'm a kid from the projects, don't have nothing. And he said, the only way you can get that deal, you're gonna have to have $200,000 in marketing money. And I said, man, I just gave you $25,000 to tell me I need 200,000. But you know what? That pushed me. That was the best. So I tell people, don't be afraid to bet on yourself, invest in yourself. You are your best investment. I took that and went back and started selling my CDs out the trunk of my car. And I ended up saving that money. And when I, the next person had offered me a deal, I told him I wanted a distribution deal. And that's how I created that deal with Prodigy Records. And uh, it was can, a, can we just go down that path just a little bit? Uh, yes. Percy, because yeah. you know, there's a couple of really amazing stories in that. So yes. wasn't one of the people who offered you a deal, Jimmy Iveen? Yeah, Jimmy Iveen at the time, before I, I had the money, before I started selling the CDs out the trunk of my car, Jimmy Iveen offered me a million dollars. And it was a seven year deal. Uh, I had to sign all my rights off. I would, wouldn't be able to use my name. Good thing I went to college. So people all, I'm telling y'all, education is important. I know a lot of entrepreneurs say they created their empires with no education, but this one education kicked in for me. I, I went to the University of Houston, <laughs> played basketball, and I always looked at the biggest deal I ever seen in my lifetime was the Michael Jordan deal, where Michael Jordan got a million dollars from Nike, but he signed his name away. And I'm like... That's what this deal is. I can't do that. So look at other people's mistakes. Even though Michael Jordan ended up turning around and working something out, and, and I think he owned a trademark to his name. That's how he made billions of dollars. But imagine if he would have got some percentage of that company. They had a guy named Stuart Haywood, I believe. They offered him a deal, 10% of Nike. He played with the Sonics. And... Uh, either $100,000. He took the $100,000. So know your value, know your worth. And when I left out that office, I said, wow, this guy offered me a million dollars. I live in the projects. I don't have any money. I had $500 at that time. How much am I worth? And me and my brother, we, we flew back on the plane on Southwest, mad at each other. He mad. Why didn't he take the million dollars? We eating peanuts on Southwest Airlines. You know, going back to the hood, I'm thinking, I'm going to be a millionaire. Everybody asked me what happened, and I told them, me and my brother, the only reason we didn't get into it that day, I said, well, how much you think I'm worth if this man offered me a million dollars? Oh, amen to that. I said, I got to be worth 10, 20, 30, 40. He was mad. He said, I don't know, but we don't have no money. I said, well, that's okay. I'm going to figure something out. And that's when I came up with the ice cream man and I went to selling my CDs out the trunk of my car and I raised the 200 and went back and got a distribution deal. And that's how God work. Don't be afraid to bet on yourself and don't be afraid. If you're an entrepreneur, it's going to be pain. It's going to be struggle. Being uncomfortable yeah. will get you to your dreams and your goals. Yeah. Can, can no, I just no. make a quick comment? Yeah. Just, just, just on that. Yeah. The thing that, that's amazing is that a lot of that hustle is the spirit of entrepreneurship. Yes. So we got a lot of entrepreneurs yes. in our community, we got a lot of investors in our community. But the thing that you showed is vision. Yes. You show hustle. Yes. You show grit. Yes. <laughs> you show that you know how to how to how to think about deal structure and, and, and how to, to get the value out, out of the deal. You actually did the research to find out how to optimize the value of your assets. Yes. And and then 
most importantly, you show courage. Yes. Because somebody could actually say you would have bet on yourself and won if you had only five hundred dollars in your pocket and somebody offered you a pillow. Like yes. that that's a legit win. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But you said there's an even bigger win yes. if I continue to double down on myself and go for the long term value. Yeah. And I, I think that's one of the things that, that the entrepreneurs and the investors in, in our in our community probably really really enjoy here. Go ahead, Andrew. I know you